from London, this is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. Welcome to Q Live. Your weekend starts here. I'm Marina Berry, it's 8 p.m. and thank God it's Friday. Now tomorrow night, the X Factor returns and we're all super excited to see Robbie Williams on the judging panel. I think he'll be good, you know. Uh, so if you've got the X Factor, uh, you could be winning 500 pounds tonight. Now you know the score by now, surely. We've got 12 questions ranging from easy too hard. You'll have just 10 seconds to tap each answer. If you get all 12 right, you'll win or split 500 pounds. Lovely. But before we begin, uh, have you heard about our special promotion, Nine Lives? If you invite three friends in the next three days, you'll receive nine extra lives. All they have to do is sign up using your username and play a game to qualify. So, to recap, invite three friends in the next three days and get nine lives. Amazing. The offer ends on midnight on Sunday. Uh, it's not just cats that have nine lives. Oh no, Q lovelies do too. Anyway, back to the quiz. It's time for the game that stops the nation. Britain, get ready to play. Well, there are 8,100 of you poised and ready to play. So, shall we get this show on the road? Here's Q1. Where do the Simpsons live? Springfield, Pasadena, or Burbank? Now, all the characters in the Simpsons have four fingers. Have you ever noticed that? And uh, did you know that Krusty the Clown was originally created to be Homer's secret identity? Deep. The answer is Springfield. 7,700 of you knew the answer to that. Simpsons fans, oh yeah, here's Q2. The term RSVP derives from a phrase in which language? Spanish, German, or French? RSVPs, I'm actually planning a wedding at the moment, right? And let me just say, I've got some beef with RSVPs. You send them out and no one bothers to send them back until you give them a nudge. I mean, I've put a, a stamp on it and everything. You've only got to find a post box. How hard can it be? The answer's French, by the way. <laughs> 7,000 of you knew the answer to that. And I'm sure you're not as bad with your RSVPs as what my friends are. Q3. Which of these singers is not a member of Boyzone? Ronan Keating, Gary Barlow, or Keith Duffy? Boyzone have sold over 13 million records in the UK alone. I like that, uh, don't love, don't love me for, uh, don't love me for fun girl. That's a good one, that one, wasn't it? That was Boyzone, wasn't it? Answer is Gary Barlow. 6,500 of you got the answer right to that one. Here's Q4. The 2006 film Alien Autopsy starred which presenting double act? Anne and Deck, Mel and Sue, or Holly and Phil? Did you know, one of the world's most famous aliens, E.T., was modelled after Albert Einstein. He was also 10 million years old. Wonder when he gets his pension. Long overdue, if you ask me. Anne and Deck is the answer. 4,800 of you knew that one. Don't forget, if you got eliminated on that question or you do get eliminated, keep playing for points because you could be, this week, Q Brainiac. The top scorer at the end of each week wins £150, so don't give up. Back to the game. Q5. In which ACDC song does the singer have a season ticket on a one-way ride? You Shook Me All Night Long, Back in Black, or Highway to Hell? Band member Angus Young once continued to play his guitar while his amp was on fire. <laughs> Seriously, that's what I call playing with fire. Now the answer is Highway to Hell. 4,400 of you still in the game at Q6. It's Cedric Suarez's birthday. Which Premier League team does he play for? Huddersfield, Southampton or Brighton? Cedric's won Euro 2016 with Portugal and he's uh, actually been capped 32 times by his country. That's a lot of caps. The answer is Southampton. 
3,100 of you still in the game. Let's move on to Q7. What is the meaning of the word bald in the name of the bald eagle? White-headed, smooth feathers or large? Bald eagles sometimes feed on much larger animals such as sloths and monkeys. I love sloths. You see that YouTube video with a sloth trying to, trying to get across the road? That little sloth trying to get across the road, trying to get across the road. Oh, it's a little bit like a Theresa May's dancing actually, isn't it? It is, it's just like Theresa May's dancing. Uh, the answer is white-headed. 2,200 of you, well done. Uh, it's time to open the bulging Q Live mailbag. Who wants a shout out? Well, hello to Paul's daughters, Abigail and Gabriella. They stay up past their bedtime every night to play Q Live. Oh, there you are, girls. Lovely to see you. Uh, good evening to Glenn, Nikki, Katie, and Josh. And finally, big shout out to Chris's four year old son. Kyle Scott. Hiya, Kyle. Now, if you would like a shout out, let us know on Twitter using the hashtag QLive. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Here's Q8. Which actor is, re is referenced in Eminem's Lose Yourself? Mackay Pfeiffer, Don Cheadle, or Denzel Washington? Eminem has been sued by his high school bully and even his own mummy. I know. He was also called Mickey as a baby because he had big ears. No wonder he's so angry all the time. The answer is Mackay Pfeiffer. 1,100 of you still in the game. It's time for Q9. The original version of which of these westerns was not released in 1969 in the UK? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Magnificent Seven, or True Grit? Do you know what? Talking about like, country and westerns, I love, uh, I love those, uh, what are those chocolates, wagon wheels. I absolutely used to love them. They don't do them anymore, do they? Where, where was the last time you saw a wagon wheel? Tweet us, let us know. And if you've got any, I'm gonna be very jealous because I don't think they're actually doing them anymore. The answer is The Magnificent Seven. 498 of you are still in the game. Now don't forget, if you love Q Live, we'll be back tomorrow night at 8 p.m. with a whopping 1,000 pounds up for grabs. It's the best way to kick off your Saturday night, believe me. Are you ready for Q10? Here we go. Which of these Rihanna singles was released first? Unfaithful, SOS, or If It's Loving That You Want? Rihanna was born in Barbados and her first name is actually Robin. Who knew? My first name, by the way, uh, my real name, Marina. Okay, Marina, that's my real name. Yeah, yeah, my real name. Uh, if It's Loving That You Want is the answer we were looking for. 149 of you are still in the game. At the penultimate question, you are almost there. Here's Q11. Which of these footballers has the most England caps? Ashley Cole, Billy Wright or Frank Lampard? England is one of the oldest international teams alongside Scotland. Not one of the most successful though. It's never easy, is it, watching England play? Uh, the answer is Ashley Cole. 45 of you have made it to the final question. You are just one correct answer away from that 500 pounds. Get ready because it's time for this. Which of these Police Academy films was released the most recently? Assignment Miami Beach, Citizens on Parole or City Under Siege? This is for £500. I love a good Police Academy film, don't you? They're brilliant. Do you know the answer to this though? The answer is, it's City Under Siege. 17 winners. Congratulations to you all, brain boxes. You'll be sharing five hundred macaroonies. We'll be back tomorrow with a chance to win a whopping £1,000. And don't forget about our special promotion, Nine Live. If you invite three friends in the next three days, you will get nine, nine extra lives. All they have to do is sign up using your username and play a game to qualify. It's that easy. So make sure you invite three friends and do it within the three days. That's all we've got time for. I've been Marina Berry and you've been extraordinary. Have a great evening. Bye for now.